In the history books of the future, historians will write about the accidental war between Burgundy and the dual monarchy that just happened due to lack of oversight, missing a single damn thing that they were so invested in the Madurai that they were willing to drag the entire Western Europe into a drawn out war. And so far we have managed to stand, hold back against the tide. We do have a fairly substantial amount of allies that have joined us and their allies are not to be seen in this war, thankfully, if Spain had joined in and, for example, Savoy, then it would be completely different. But we do have most of the areas bordering the Rhineland on the eastern side with us, and we also have Scandinavia, which is very, very helpful. So I think the tide has turned in this war, but we will see... Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> that was pretty useless. Uh... <laughs> oh god, it was pretty use pretty useless uh, preface there about oh, the Great War and everything like that. And we will see the conclusion in the next episode. Yeah, the conclusion happened there in the first five seconds of it all. Apparently, when we uh, got a peace deal with Madras, they decided to just go for a white peace. And I don't remember ever offering them a white peace, so maybe that's automatic. Anyway, at least we won the war. Ain't that a beauty? We won a war, we didn't win a crushing war against them, but we did win a bloody war. And I'm... Um, very happy about that. I'm very thankful for the victory and uh, we'll just have to sort out what happened and try to recover for future for future wars. So yeah, I'm, uh, I'm very pleased, honestly. Sure, it was a mistake and it was a, a dumb mistake as well, but we did win it and we didn't get completely crushed. We just initially had some issues due to me not really realizing that was a war of that scale going on. But now we have Madurai, we have taken the territory which we need to have taken. We just need to... Holy shit, 15? Holy crap. That's... Uh, that's uh, very impressive. We just need to fix some... Uh, we'll have neighbors in Pondicherry. And the fixed forts in an entire region. Holy shit, Madras 15? That should be able to replenish our 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 armies and then some. This will need one little mobile artillery and this one for example will need a light crew a cavalry and mobile artillery. So we will Ah, we can't do that yet. They are in Come on, get over here. Oh I accidentally uh, <laughs> edited the name. It's just accidents that kind of end up happening. Come on, can I just delete these? Come on, stop it. I don't want to write the name of... Ah, oh, come on, there we go. Thank god, that was annoying. Black cavalry and mobile artillery. Good. We have a lot more men that we can call upon, and then we can make a new army as well. That will be very exciting. Very exciting. Found some gold in Caligotal. Where the hell? I think we'll be over here. Kalgorli? No? Was it? Yeah, gold! Hopefully a lot of people will immigrate here. From Raipur, Surakarta, Kumalung. Yeah, a lot of people are coming here. Wambalang. Wampangalang. It's a pretty funny name. I like that. In fact, just because of that, you will be the naval base of this region. You'll be the capital of our Australia. One Wambalang. One Bangalang. And uh, I guess that this one has iron, but this one has copper, and I like copper. I don't know why, I just like it. This one will be done in when? In November. Not gonna go to war against the Sublime Port, just because putting them in, the, in our sphere. That I do not support. So this first one that was uh, mobile artillery, artillery will be going to... which one was it? I think it was this one. Yeah, right over here. And then we will have some men going up here and then augmenting this one. Finally they can make their own army. This should be enough for it. Should be enough. Now we can create a protectorate in Western Guinea. So that's pretty nice. Is there anything else we can do here in the Pacific? Any islands that can be colonized? Any at all? 
Apparently Rapa Nui is their own country with 374 people in it. Maybe you should play as that. Could be pretty cool. Hawaii is their own country as well, which I like. And then we had, of course, the Tui Tonga and the Aotearoa. Those guys. We also have them, if we would like to take them. We have uh, ending up with, well, we need to gather some infamy, but from where, from what, what will, what will the infamy come from? That's a bigger question, and I don't have a good answer for it. Seemingly this army survived the, the assault on the highlands, or the lowlands rather. Let's see. And in Europe, we have a lot more men that to recruit. I think we will do so. It will be the regular 5, 4, and finally 1. So there will be 10 more men in Europe, which should be fine. I'm a bit concerned about some of the losses that we took in the last war, but maybe, maybe the dual monarchy has caught up. They have caught up in army tech. Plus they had really good leaders and... Well, I, I didn't do the best attacks, honestly. So I could explain the problems that were that arised over there. 1847, that's still two years away, so that's a no-go. Travancore, for example, could be a potential victim. Or beneficiary. Maybe we should be careful about Spain this time. But we will start to create uh, Casas Belli there. And that should unite the southern southern Italy, I was going to say, but southern India. And then we can head on out to the Mughal Empire and Bengal. I'm assuming Be Bengal and those other ones, yep, they have quite a bit of dual monarchy influence at the moment. So maybe we should counteract that. Maybe do the same in the Mughal Empire. No, the Mughal Empire is currently unaffected by a foreign intervention. Baroda is in Scandinavian sphere. If we look at the sphere, we have Scandinavia over here, we have Spain over here, and with Oman, and we have this bit, which soon this bit will be added. North, wait, it was crisis in North Kurdistan between the Sublime Port and I guess Kurdistan. We won't join. There's no interest in of ours there. Apparently, the dual monarchy is back in Kurdistan. Ah, and the Kurdistan is suddenly free. And apparently, Maki oh god, the world has become a worse place than it was before. The civil war between Macedonia and Greece continues. With North Macedonia has an is now part of Macedonia itself, and they also have Attica, while Peloponnese and, well, most actually of Macedonia itself. And Thessaly is part of Greece, and now Macedonia has gotten phrase, including Constantinople. If I were to say that the Balkans is a mess, or Greece in this case is a mess, uh, wouldn't be an understatement, I don't think. Because that's, uh, that's a big mess. A big mess. Whistle stop tour. And apparently no children. Oh, we'll have a whistle stop tour again. Extra prestige is always good. That army is coming up very, very nicely. Very, very nicely. How is the war justification going? And this time, just to be sure, they haven't been added to anyone's friendly list, right? Nope. Not yet. Could be very soon, though. Here we have these fellas. They are ready to join in an army. And uh, here we just need to have... One more infantry. And what else? Two artillery. And that'd be done. So almost... Ah, oh, Anglui. There's already Anglui people living here? Seriously? Anglui, apparently. So we have some Anglui people living in our, in our territory. That's uh, interesting. Very interesting, actually. Wait, how did they move there? Why? Oh, come on. This is not Churai, this is uh, Australia. Can't we rename it to Burgundian Australia? 
what would we call it if we wouldn't call Australia and we are from Burgundy? Would it be called like, um, I know that New Zealand was a thing before, or Zealand before, uh, it's not in this world, it's not a thing. So what would we call it, like New Brabant? Sure, New Brabant. If it's, if it's not named there somewhere else in the New World, we will call it New Brabant. New Brabant land, they were added. New Brabant land. Fortunately, you can't name provinces. Which is a shame. There's one thing I want for Victoria Free, naming provinces. Also din dynamic naming of provinces. Just like they have it in in EU4. It's a nice it's a nice thing, it's a nice feature. Nice useful feature. Up next with Travancore under it, and when we have managed to do that, which will be in about 80 or so days. Then we can go for the Mughal Empire. And after we take in a chunk of the Mughal Empire and taking, for example, Bihar and Orissa, things of that nature, maybe Avad as well, then we will look towards the south over here, maybe ferry over some Indian troops and try to take Savoy and uh, trigger that event. Trigger that or trigger that decision to claim Savoy. People in this day and age want universal voting. So we will go for universal voting. When I say universal voting, I'm not meaning that they should vote on what universal will make for the next movie. I mean that everyone can vote. Everyone. It's a bit strange though, still. I have every single one of the soldiers are in one province and not like, it's not even a single goddamn one over here or here or here. Everyone here. And 15 of them as well. So any place here that has gotten an extra man? Yeah, we do. We do. Here. We will have mobile artillery over here. Now with this done, we will have um, anglo -E infantry. Five in total. And then have light cavalry and free Arti mobile artillery. artillery. There we go. Done and done. Another army complete. We will have four armies in total in India. Which should be sufficient, I believe, for our colonial interests. And then we have Palembang in the next year. And this one will take ages until we can try to take the rest. But we have gotten a few more colonies that we can make use of and import some Dutch people in there. To take their hold and spread around. That should be fun. We also had Western New Guinea, but I don't know what the use will be for it really. Bengal we can now start influencing to make sure that they are not under the sphere of the damn Anglo-French. Let's see here. Seems like everyone has gotten their paws off from what our, you know, our sphere. Add to sphere Plantagenia. That's doesn't seem an interest of us at all. Ah, oh, poor Vinland, they lost the uh, Sturkoyana over here. That's a lot of people. That's a lot of people for them to lose. A giant blow to Vinland. Belgian Confederacy, which is our spawn to be fair, so we should be rooting for them. But still, damn Belgian Confederacy. Damn Belgians. We are Belgians. Well, sort of. We are the Burgundians. The improved Belgians. Let's see, establish protectorates. Go for it. Oh, I almost made the same mistake. Not not top of checking what the final tally was when the war starts, but it's fine this time. I swear you guys, no mistakes were made, at least this time. Please don't please don't hang me. There we are, and Scandinavia. Yeah, they they had the Maldives, which they have uh, Renamed to Maldivena. Which I guess works. It's pretty much the same thing. I'm pretty sure that this enemy won't be of any issue at all to us. Tavancore only has 639,000 people in it. Have a minuscule amount of forces. It should really be a pushover. No big deal. No big deal. 
Wonderful. Wonderful. And then when the last province falls, peace will reign. And then we will prepare for the Mughal Empire. Where the future looks bright. Just need some more coast, really. That's all I want. More coast. More coast. Speaking of coast, do we have any more naval bases to extend? No, we do not. No more naval bases. Education efficiency. I don't think there's anything left in America either for us to do. Could extend our influence there. To be fair. Could do that. But do we want to? That's the question. Now with that taken, I think most of these armies can really just head up to... Um... Wait, did we lose our... They're in our sphere. Why aren't they granting us the ability to walk through the land whenever we want like these, these, these guys do? That's stupid. Alright, and then we will have one guy over... I guess we can stand over here for now, just to avoid any mistakes or confusion. So the Mughal Empire, no one is interested in you, apart from me, that is. You have a substantial army, a very substantial army, so this won't be a pushover in any way at all. We need to be very prepared for what we're doing right here. Should have built forts here previously, that's a mistake. Mistake of mine, you seem to be uh, multiplying mistakes. Lipidet mold, I will always welcome you as one of my dearest, dearest friends. Actually, we will send some aid to Berg over here. Unfortunately, we are not able to. I want to help you, Berg. Why don't you let me? Come on, we're allies. Is it because I don't have... I don't think I can get more diplomatic points in this. Maybe we should see if, if that is possible. We can even get 10 diplomatic points. I would assume that you can. Why, uh, why would they change that so drastically? I mean, I get that it was a bit easy to have military access before, but this is a bit ridiculous. It doesn't seem that we are able to. Apparently Turkey wants an alliance. Oh, God damn it. Still, it's, not much has happened since last time. It's just... Turkey has fallen completely. We have Al Quds over here. We have Syria that apparently includes also Lebanon and uh, well, most of what we would call Jordan or Jor is it Jor Jordan or Jordania. It's Jordan, isn't it? Yeah, Jordan. But apparently they they have Bulgaria, so it's fine. It's fine, everyone. It's they have Bulgaria. Military plans, we can do go for that too, and then strategic mobility. Should probably go for strategic mobility first. Maybe. Military plans, that will give more discipline. Reduce supply consumption for various units, that's good. Breach loader rifles will be very, very strong, so we will have that. We mostly have infantry, I believe, rather than regulars. Yeah, we have infantry in in uh, the old world, but in the new world we use regulars, for obvious reasons. We only have one more guy over here left, and that will be in 18 days, 15 days. Yeah, I don't think we can even reach 10 diplomatic points. It's a bit stupid to, uh, to lock it out completely. I can't do anything to, to help this guy. There's no way for me to get military access. We'll need 10 diplomatic points required. Is there any... Maybe there's a thing over here in... I don't know, culture, commerce... It increases diplomatic... Influence... Maybe there's an invention that increases how much diplomatic points you have in, in total. In, uh, you know, there it says diplomatic points plus 20%. But I don't know if that's just how fast you get diplomatic points, or if it's the maximum amount you can have. Either way. It's a bit silly. I can't do anything to help my Swirling. What I can do is switch out what my focus will be for this clergyman, and uh, spread them out a bit. We are getting more and more teachers in the world. Which is good. We now have... 
1.99% of the population there. So that's uh, fairly strong. Fairly strong. I'm, I'm liking it. We have a lot of industries that have gone under. And that's uh, also my bad, really. That is really my bad. Now, see, now we have to do this whole thing against Berg. Invade them and make sure that they're part of our part of our sphere. So yeah, ah, that's. I was hoping that the capitalists would do that for me, so I wouldn't have to go through all of the the factories and open them manually. So we have lost a lot of uh, industry, a lot of industry progress from almost all of the factories in Bourgogne being shut down due to occupation previously. So yeah, yeah, well, you learn, uh, the more you learn, the longer you live, the more you learn, and the more mistakes you do, the more you can learn from them. So hopefully I won't have to repeat that one. All right, the last thing I will do for this episode is to start producing a demand concession, Casus Belli against the Mughal Empire, just so you know where the next episode after this one will be heading, because now we have reached the end, and this is where I will cut it up. If you enjoyed this video and this series and would like to see more, click the like and the subscribe button and whatnot. If you have anything you want to say and voice uh, displeasure over a certain action, having any suggestion or whatever, then please leave a comment in the comment section below. Until next time, have a good one and thank you for watching.